what's up? It's Ruby. Drink with me. We have um, Portugal wine here. Oh, in case you're wondering, lots of people ask. I'm wearing Cecilia da Rafael pantyhose today in the color. I can't pronounce. Cerula. Essentially, purple. All right, I'll link it down below. Get it out of the way. So we have a Portugal wine, Portuguese, uh, silk and spice. The label is pretty cool. It's got an old school map. I think this is like the from the Silk Road era, mm, historic uh, times when they do trades across Europe and Asia kind of thing. All right, let's open it and chat. Um, I have never tried uh, the grapes in this wine before. I searched it up. It's got a number of grapes that I cannot pronounce and cannot remember to tell you guys. So, it's a red wine. Search it up if you're interested. I'll, oh, maybe I'll link it down. I'll, I'll write the info below. So, okay, let's see. Got my cork thing here. This is a new cork opener. I finally did it right, guys. I took it out. Oh, if you're interested, check out my previous videos where I've first time I fail opening it. So there's no uh, force required. Uh, cool, cool. I quite like it. Let's see the cork. Ah, silk and spice. Got a boat, a ship. Got a ship there. Silk and spice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. What year is this? 2018. Ah, pretty new. Pretty new wine. All right, let's see. Okay, so since it's a pretty new wine, the color is a bit um, purple, like the grape skin, grape, purple color grape. And it's quite nice, it's vibrant, purplish red, uh, quite dark, it's a bit dark, intense too. Cool! And this is from Northern Portugal. Northern Portugal. Yeah, I've never, I don't think I've tried anything from that. See what else it says on the bottle. Metaphor of silk and spice applies to the flavors of this smooth red blend that poses flavors only found in grapes native to Portugal. Okay. Portuguese explorers discovered the silk and spice roots to the east in the 1500s. Okay, it's old uh, history lesson here. <laughs> Spices such as nutmeg, cinnamon, pepper, changing the world cuisine while silk from China was prized for its luxury softness. Okay, so the spices from all over trading silk from China, I guess. I don't know. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's kind of old school and nice. Pretty interesting. I like looking at maps, by the way. Do you like looking at maps? Let me know down below. Okay, let's sniff this baby. Hey, it kind of match my penny house, eh? Purple. Okay, it smells quite nice. Um, it's not stingy alcohol. It's not stingy to the nose. Let's smell more. I can smell a little bit like chocolate, vanilla, and chocolate kind of. Yeah, like a creamy, thick, creamy flavor already. All right, let's try. Give me the first impression. Cheers. Wow. Okay, it's very juice-like. It's quite refreshing. Refreshing. It's like a fruit punch or something. It's like juice. Easy to go down for sure. Um, not too much of that burning alcohol. Although we just opened it, there's not too much of that. So it, it's an easy to drink wine for sure. It's very berry, like juicy, like strawberry, like a really sweet and juicy strawberry. It's not that sweet, but then reminds me of that juicy. When you first bite into a juicy fruit. Okay, that's more. It's a little bit minty as, as well. La, the spice. So it's like mint, licorice, the licorice um, feeling, the minty feeling. So it's kind of like a mint, so it's refreshing. And it's short length, um, light to medium body. Mm, tannin is low. I don't I don't feel too much of that grit. A little bit okay, just a tiny bit. But it's a light body fruity drink. Fruity. First impression. First 
one, one word to describe this food. Okay, I'm gonna decant it as usual, and we will be back in a few hours. BRB! Hey, I'm back! It has been four hours. Let's see how our silk and spice taste like. So usually, people say you don't really need to decant uh, Portuguese wine and Spanish wine because uh, they can be drunk right away, they can be enjoyed right away. But I like to decant my wines if I have the time. Alright, let's top it up a bit. Oh, and it smells really nice already. Yeah, it smells just like berries and a little bit of that vanilla cream scent. Alright, let's try. Cheers! Okay, it's not too far from when I first opened it. It's still very fruity, a little bit sweet actually, uh, and licorice. that aftertaste of soil. Interesting. So um, before decanting, there's no soil. It was just fruity, easy to drink, and kind of like acidic, uh, sour, like crisp kind of that spice. Let's, let's try more. It's, yeah, it's actually quite heavy on that licorice peppery flavor. Very interesting. Very cool. It's quite fragrant. It's, it's nice. It's minty licorice in the mouth. It's quite nice. Something different, for sure. And then um, at the end, it's sour. Yeah, it's got a sour kick to it. So it will be nice with uh, food, I think. But on its own, it's okay. It's still a bit sour for my taste. Yeah, but I like. Not bad. I like the. I like the logo very much. Cool. Uh, 2018 silk and spice from Portugal. Not bad, not bad. It's from some grapes that I cannot pronounce. Check out the info down below. Okay, thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram. I post every day. Drink wine, and I'll see you in my next one. Cheers!